Hello and welcome to this next Blender tutorial which is going to focus on using Blender's edit mode to create custom objects. A cube is a great object to start modeling with and it can be used to create almost anything. A cube has six sides and each side of the cube is called a face or a polygon. Each face has four edges and each intersection between the edges that is each corner of the cube is called a vertex or a point. Blender is a vector-based graphics package so it uses mathematical formulas to create digital shapes using points, lines and fills or in Blender terms vertices, edges and faces. You can switch from object mode to edit mode using the drop down menu at the bottom or simply by pressing the tab key. Press tab to switch between views and see the differences between them. In object mode you can select layers and you can move different objects to different layers. In edit mode you can select vertices, edges and faces. You can right click on any face, edge or vertex to select it and then the transform gizmo appears to let you rotate, scale and move that particular element. You must press the tab key to lock in the changes and to leave edit mode. Edit mode is object specific so you can edit each individual object in your project separately. Go back to object mode by pressing the tab key and add a new cube to your project using shift A mesh cube. You can model most things starting off with a cube and this is what's known as box modeling. One of the most common ways to model is by extruding. This is a term that you will become very familiar with. So first of all right click to select the cube in object mode and then press tab to go into edit mode. Choose face select from the properties bar at the bottom and from there you can also choose vertex select or edge select but we're choosing face select for now and then click on any face of your cube press E on your keyboard to select the extrude tool and then click and drag to extrude the face which basically extends it in any direction that you pull so you, you can make lots of interesting shapes by just extruding faces from a cube for example, a dinosaur, which is what we're going to create now using the extrude tool on our cube. So let's start by extruding one of the faces. Pull it out and then switch from solid to wireframe view. So when you extrude um, a face of an object, you lose the face that you extruded from. <clears throat> Blender does this automatically, which simplifies the geometry of your object and uh, makes it render more quickly at the end. We're going to create the body of the dinosaur. So what we want to have is a nine cube body shape. Okay, so we need to extend three, three, three and have uh, a three by three block of nine cubes. We're gonna use the four corner cubes for legs. So select those faces and extrude them down by pressing E and dragging in uh, whichever view is most appropriate and we're going to extrude four feet at the end of the four legs so just select the faces at the front of the bottom of the legs and then extrude those out we're going to extrude a neck from the cube at the front middle uh, upwards and then we're going to pull out a snout by extruding the face at the front of that for the dinosaur's head and finally we're going to pull out the face at the back extrude that by pressing E for a tail. So we now end up with a very blocky looking Lego style dinosaur which is as good a place to start as any. From here we need to basically go in and push and pull the vertices the individual edges and vertices of our mesh to smooth out the body and get rid of that blocky look. So the first thing we can start to do is to select the edges of the shoulder 
and move them in and down on the y-axis using the grab gizmo um, we can move those edges around and next we're going to select the face at the top of the head and use the scale and rotate tools to create a more interesting shape for the dinosaur's head there. You can scale and rotate edges and faces but you can't actually do that to vertices because uh, vertices are just points in 3D space so you can move them but you can't rotate or scale them. So next we're going to fix the snout just adjust the edges there and maybe even adjust the individual vertices if you like and we're going to adjust the tail to make it taper off a little at the end there. We're now going to introduce a new tool in Blender which is called the loop cut. So in edit mode press Control and OR with faces selected and this will allow you to add more geometry to your objects to make it more complex and give you more room to manipulate the shapes. So hover your mouse cursor over the mesh and you'll see a pink line appear down the middle. Okay, to add a loop cut right down the middle of the body, you can right click to center it or alternatively you can left click and then move the line and then finally left click again to lock it into place. Finally, we will select the edges and pull them up a bit to add a little bit more detail to our mesh. And we can see what the loop cut tool does is add extra polygons or extra faces to our mesh. So this has been a basic introduction to edit mode in Blender and how to use edit mode to create custom objects.